Welcome everybody, I'm Steven, and today let's bridge the gap between the two giants, the Shopify and the Amazon. So stay tuned for this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to seamlessly connect your Shopify store with Amazon and reach the broader audience. Now ready to expand the reaches, let's go for preparing your Shopify store. Before we connect with Amazon, let's ensure that your Shopify store is primed and ready. Let's cover the product preparation, the inventory synced, and the essential settings for a smooth integration process. I'm gonna leave you guys a link down below in the description just in case you don't have your store yet, so we can all get started to adding our products here into Amazon. So first of all, let's go and sign into our Shopify. Now that we are here into our Shopify, you should see here the dashboard. Let's focus now into the upper side and let's go for products. Inside products, what I wanted to do is to add all of these elements directly into Amazon. So how do I make sure that this one actually are eligible to add it into Amazon? First of all, I wanted to go for the product and I wanted to have a really great strong title, strong description, really high quality media and the variant information. What you can do is to choose more actions and later on is to download out this as an actual CSV file so you can use this to add it directly into Amazon. So now that I have all the products ready, now they have collections, uh, they have an inventory and really great products to add into Amazon, let's go for setting up your Amazon seller account. Now, uh, I'll guide you through the creating a seller account, understanding the Amazon requirement, ensuring that everything aligns with your Shopify products. So your Amazon journey begins with the Solid Seller Foundation by going directly here into sellercentral.amazon.com. So what you wanted to do is to go for the sign up. Inside here, the Amazon Seller Central, what you wanted to do is to choose new to Amazon and create your Amazon account. So here, what I wanted to do is to type my name, my email, a passcode, we enter the passcode and here now to next. Now it says, welcome, here's what you expected. First of all, we needed to provide our information and your documents. We needed to collect relevant personal business information to comply with the edification and verification measures. If you don't have any of this, well, it's gonna be really, really hard to connect your store. Now, second of all, let's verify the submission. After we send all our documentations, Amazon was gonna be doing is to check out the Amazon Associate to verify the submission. And lastly, we get the verification and start selling. Easy, right? So first of all, what you wanted to do is to choose the business location where you're currently living. So choose the one that best suits for you. In my case, let's go for Mexico and go for begin. After you go for begin, it's gonna be asking you to have a validate government issued ID, everything about your business information, the business type, and if you're an individual or none of them. So after you choose all of this, let's go for the first last name and confirm that the business location are correct and you understand this information cannot be changed later. Now that you have confirmed and added all your business information, what you want to do is to go back into Shopify. Let's connect the Shopify and the Amazon by going directly into your Amazon circular account. First of all, what you wanted to do is to go into applications. Inside apps, let's go and type Amazon. Now, if you typed Amazon, it's gonna be showing you a lot of applications where you can get started by adding and selling stuff into your Shopify. What you wanted to do is to focus into the Shopify Marketplace Connect. As you can see, here it is. So I click in it, and you wanted to make sure that the actual developer is Shopify, has a really strong rating, and is free to install it. So this is how we can sell across Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Walmart, and so much more businesses. So what you wanted to do is to get into install. Now let's grant the access and hit into install once and again. As you can see now, it should be appearing directly here. This into my sales channel already been added there. So I wanted to make sure that all of this very personal data, the edit the products, the edit orders, edit matching, everything should be granted by Shopify. So what I want to do here is just to pin these applications. And what I wanted to do is to get started by adding this into Amazon. So I choose connect my account. Now here what you wanted to do is to select your marketplace. For example, let's say amazon.com. After that, let's go for next. And now it's going to be popping up this new section that what we wanted to do is to get started once again by signing into Amazon. Now, if you already have an Amazon seller account, it's going to be asking you just to sign in. After that, choose the element the best suits for you, confirm that you have a really great account and choosing to agree and continue. The process actually is just really simple. You just need to do everything that Amazon tells you to do. 
Lastly, you wanted to make sure that you are okay with the monthly subscription free. And this is how you should be looking for the sale dashboard inside Amazon. Your business reports, the sales and traffic, the detailed page sales, the detailed page sales of the traffic, apparent items, and much more. Checking more information of the Shopify dashboard is going to be looking like this. All of the information provided into Shopify should be just copy and paste automatically into Amazon by the actual application that we just added, which in this case is the Marketplace Connect. Doing this process into Amazon should be really easy as going into eBay, into Etsy, and even into Walmart. So guys, congratulations because you have successfully connected your Shopify store with Amazon. We can do this process with multi-channel businesses. So you wanted to check that out directly here into the marketplace connect before we wrap remember that the key integration step is to app is to add the best application to help you to add it directly from your shopify store into more marketplaces if you wanted to add for example into facebook into instagram those are sales channels and google of course our sales channel that of course you need to check out into another video i'm gonna leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can see how it actually looks and how we can get started with doing stuff into other places so guys your shopify amazon partnership is a game changer explore the endless possibilities and boost your online processes remember you have the link down below to get started guys until next time happy selling